So before we proceed and start working on the VPN Open VPN API, first we will understand how VPN works. So imagine your normal use of the internet when you want to access any website. Let's say if you have no VPN, without VPN. So this is your computer, your laptop or your Android smartphone. Let's say you want to visit Facebook or YouTube, then you send request and the website is opened. That is a response will come, website will either open or it will not open. If it is accessible in your country, then Facebook will open, otherwise it will not open as a response. So you are directly uh, sending request to the website. Now let's say if any website is blocked in your country then those website you can access if you have a VPN. So with VPN let's say if Facebook is blocked in your country so you will turn on VPN on your laptop on your computer or on your Android smartphone. So when you open up the VPN when the VPN turns on then you send a request which goes through the VPN server. Let's say you are connected to Germany VPN server. Now one thing you have to keep in mind before turning on the VPN your own internet which is your actual uh, internet connection which the ISP internet service provider provides you. Now you have your own IP address. When you turn on the VPN with VPN I'm talking when you turn on the VPN then when you send request it goes through VPN server and remember your let's say if you are now connected to Germany, Germany VPN server then it gives you IP address of Germany best that is it change your actual IP address is now changed to Germany based IP address so it is now your VPN based IP address which is not your actual IP address it simply means that on the internet you will be represented as you are someone from the Germany that is let's say now I want to access YouTube or let's say Facebook okay so from my computer Android smartphone I turn on my VPN and let's say I'm connected to the Germany VPN uh, Germany VPN server okay so my IP address is changed to Germany best so now when I send request let's say Facebook will receive request and Facebook will know that I am from Germany okay because my IP is from Germany okay I am connect to the I am sending request to Facebook by turning on my uh, VPN okay and the VPN is Germany best so my IP address is Germany best so Facebook will see that I am from Germany okay that I am from Germany and then as a result the response will come the website will open from the Facebook I will receive a request which will come through VPN server and receive it in my laptop that is I will see the Facebook website will open now VPN give us some advantages the first thing is that if any website which is let's say uh, somehow the government officials closed in your country or let's say the Facebook let's say for example Facebook closed its website uh, in your country so you cannot access it without VPN so with VPN if you turn on the VPN you can access any website for example let's say Facebook even if it is closed in your country because if you connect to January, Germany VPN server then your IP address will be as Germany best okay so the Facebook will know that you are from Germany and you are not from the actual country Facebook will not know about your actual country so it basically also provide you security it secure your network and it secure your browsing that is no one will know about your real IP address and about your real location in which country you are living and what is your actual IP address as long as you are connected to the VPN. VPN basically make your network secure and your browsing secure. So this is the example which I explain in words. VPN client simply means you. For example, you have VPN app installed in your phone, in your 
tablet or in your desktop computer in your PC whatever it is okay this is you VPN client is you for example you have VPN app installed in your phone so now let's say you want to access Gmail YouTube or Twitter or Netflix whatever so let's say I want as a user I want to send an email which is basically the Gmail I'm talking about okay using gmail.com so when I send email to anyone let's say using Gmail let's say I want to access gmail.com so when I send request that is I want to connect to that and I have turned on the VPN on my computer let's say or in my Android smartphone so when I send request it is private okay my IP address is let's say this time from uh, UK based so my IP address is UK based now I am connected to the UK VPN server I am connected to UK VPN so they will see that I am from UK so when I send request not hackers can access that not government not ISPs can ex uh, access that okay as I am UK based so I, my request will go through VPN and to the Gmail it will be received that Gmail will know for example Gmail is from Google so Google will see that I am someone from UK base however my actual country is different my actual IP address is different but as long as I am connected I have turned on my VPN which is let's say this time UK based so Gmail will know that I am someone who has this IP address which is UK base and I am someone who is from the UK so no one can easily track you as long as your VPN is turned on not hackers can access you not anyone not ISPs can access you not governments because your flow is protected by the VPN so in simple words the main purpose of this video is to understand the working of a VPN how VPN works basically you have let's say in this course what you will make is open VPN app uh, develop uh, an open VPN app which you will learn and build so when you turn on the VPN in your Android smartphone then you it will let's say you there are different countries uh, free VPNs available which we which you will learn and develop in this course so let's say you connect to uh, Japan uh, VPN so when the VPN is turned on when you are connected it will change your actual IP address to Japan best so your IP address is now from Japan your country of uh, your actual country will change to Japan that is on the internet you will be treated as someone from Japan who has Japan best IP address who has Japan best time zone okay so when you send request it will go through the VPN server and any website which you want to visit let's say Netflix Twitter Google or anyone they will simply know that you are someone from Japan instead of your actual country instead of your actual time zone and instead of your actual IP address your to them it will show that your IP address is basically from Japan your time zone is Japan and your country of residence is Japan okay to them it will be showing it Japan instead of your actual country and instead of your actual IP address so basically it makes your uh, browsing and it makes your network secure now in order to connect from a VPN client that is let's say from your Android smartphone using the VPN app which you will learn and develop in this course so in order to connect from a VPN client through VPN server I mean from where we will get this VPN server well there are large number of freely available open VPN servers and we will connect to those open VPN servers now in order to connect you need a uh, ID or you can say username username and password is required you can't connect from a VPN client to VPN server directly without a username and password username and password is required let's say 
there are hundreds and you can say thousands of VPN servers available. It can be Japan based VPN server, it can be Vietnam based VPN server, it can be Indian based VPN server, it can be Bangladesh based VPN server, it can be Germany based or UK based VPN server. Many servers are freely available, open VPN servers. So in order to connect, you cannot connect directly. You need a username and password for each server which are called the credentials for that. So as I told you, the credentials to connect from a VPN client to any VPN server, uh, the credentials are a username and password we need and then OVPN file. OVPN file is basically it containing VPN server details. For example, uh, when we connect to any VPN server, that server has its own IP address, it has its own key, port, etc. Which you will later understand when we will implement this using Flutter. Okay, That is, whenever we want to connect to each VPN server, first we have a username and password and then the second thing is the OVPN file that is each server to which we will connect, it will have its own IP address, it will have its own key or you can say it will have its own uh, time zone and zip code and so much information about that. So this is just the basic information which you must have idea about it. Okay, Later we will be doing this practically using Dart programming language when we connect to OpenVPN servers. So the OpenVPN servers which I am talking about let me show it to you. So here you can see here are freely available VPN servers from around the world from different countries you can see here as you can see here okay this is from around the world from different countries so we will be accessing all these freely available VPN servers using the VPN get API which we will develop which you will learn and develop in this course so as you can see there are hundreds or you can say many uh, freely available op uh, open VPN servers which we will access using API now as I told you the credentials for connecting to these free VPN servers you need a uh, username and password which is the most important thing for connecting to it. So for all these freely available servers if you notice here the username for that is VPN and the password for that is VPN for each server okay from Japan for Vietnam or for anyone okay as you can see from Japan many VP freely available VPN servers here you can see that similarly from Korea there are many freely available VPN server from Russia from Canada from United States and if you scroll you will see all these freely available op uh, uh, VPN server free open VPN servers so in order to connect to them the most important credentials are the username and the password and which is the username for these are VPN and the password for these are VPN now there are different uh, VPN protocols. The one which we will be using is called called the OpenVPN. Okay, it is known as OpenVPN. And for the OpenVPN, for example, for each server, each one has its own uh, config file. So remember, I have told you in order to connect to any VPN server, the credential, username, password is required, and then the OVPN. So for example, for this. Free, freely available VPN server the open VPN config if I open that if I click on that then here you can see that this is the OVPN configuration file OVPN configuration file you can see that okay here we have also the OVPN configuration file that is with each with each uh, freely available VPN server everyone has its own VPN config file which is OVPN config file using which we can get 
each uh, VPN server country, its time zone, that is from where this VPN server is and its IP address when we successfully connect to this, for example, this VPN server, then it will have its own IP address, it will have its own time zone, zip code, country name, region name, city name and so on. So each VPN server has its own OVPN file configuration and which simply means each VPN server will have their own IP address, time zone, region name and all these information. So this is just an info information video about the OpenVPN, OpenVPN servers and its important features, I mean the credentials which are the username, password, from where I mean we will get all these servers. I have already told you that we will use VPN GET okay vpn get api using the open vpn uh, config file and all these things okay so i hope you have understand now that how the vpn works and uh, we will be using all these things i mean we will be using these concepts okay this is just an information video you don't need to do anything here this video you have to just watch if you have not understand then watch it again and all these things uh, you will see practically when we will be implementing it in flutter okay so yeah see you guys in the next video and in the next video we will be implementing it practically using flutter